Dooby doo. Oh, hello, you guys. Hey, uh, <clears throat> today in my mailbox, I get a, uh, I got a, uh, I guess they were calling it spam because it didn't come right through to me. But anyways, there's this new monolith out there. It's pretty cool, but it's kind of dumb too. There's this guy. I guess he's the only one who knows about it. But it's called the uh, the Mandela Circle, and it's got these four monoliths of black people, black black. You know, someone made this. Whatever it is, it, no one no one whittled this. I don't think no one would do it. But it looks like some kind of a cast, and it's got people's faces in it and hands, like they're all like inside this black molding. You know, like they're trapped in these long skinny monoliths and they only look like they're only about eight feet tall so they're called monoliths it's just whatever oh and they're all they're facing them each other and there's a black cube in the middle you know and it's oh it's saturn and it says it's called the mandela seat you know you're supposed to forget it's the it's the seat of remembering and forgetting oh my god anyways you guys i think it's just some kind of weird new hoax and, you know, it's funny to see how things push through. One of these guys, you know, and I guess, you know, you got to say that someone will put up this stuff and then these other guys, I'm going to go and see this. I said, but you don't see it doesn't make any sense. You see, we're not forgetting anything. Remember, that's what they're trying to get us to believe is that we are forgetting something. And so if you are of the affected, we're, we're not forgetting things. Something's been, something replaced what used to be. That's not forgetting and uh, so anyways I, you just can't fall for that and these people that debunk you you know you know they're only debunking themselves I laugh at you know anyone you know you know I really used to like the truth of girls because they you know do things that talk about things that are useful for you you know mind wise spiritually wise and all these other things you know but uh, you know, she took such a hard stance against people that are Mandela. They think that we're nuts, too. He said, oh, it's always been that way. You know, I don't, you know, so, but to take the stance is this Mandela police, you know, the border cops, you know, you guys are this or you guys are that. Well, fuck you and fuck them, you know. It's my memories, you know. And really what they're trying to do is they want to think, they want you to think that, you know, your memories are the bad ones and you should replace them with these new ones. They're much better than they are. Mm -mm. No, they aren't. I'll keep mine. I'll live with yours, you know. But I'm going to have an understanding with myself that I am not going. To, <laughs> I'm not going to just forget about it. So, anyways, this guy's this guy is this total scam, you know. Man, if I had think of something, if all I got is these Mandela things to put on my channel to get people to come see me. It's sort of like you know selling cigarettes in the in the store. You know, you have to go in the store and buy them, and then when you go up, you got to get some milk, and you got to come home with this and this and that. You know, this, them cigarettes are the leader drug to selling shit. You know, so I don't quit smoking. I've been saving a lot of money. I don't go across the street there and buy a lot of shit no more. Well, you see that that's really what it is. You know, I'm not going to make up no hoax to try to come and get people to come to us and all. But this idea of feeding into the um, um, the supernatural. That this guy, oh, this if everyone gets into this, you know, these affected people are, are uh, being, you know, under the under some kind of black magic, you know, and deception of the devil, and Saturn and the cube and stuff like that. You know, these things, you know, they're only symbols. You know, the cross used to be a beautiful symbol. You know, I bet Jesus. If Jesus were real, I bet a cross isn't a beautiful symbol to him. And how about all these uh, Native Americans, North and South, uh, in the continental uh, parts of our world? You know, they saw the cross. They knew it was a, a beautiful symbol to them. But it turned out to be, you know, one of the biggest mistakes that they ever let in. It was like, oh my God, a wolf in sheep's clothing. You know, so it makes you think about stuff like that. But the, the, the symbol itself means nothing, has no power over you, has no power whatsoever. And, uh, you know, even the ideas of going and being a part of, like, uh, voodoo and crap like that, you know, it only has power over things that you give power, you know. 
you you give them their power. You know, if you wish to follow in that garbage and that drama, then it's got you hooked. Because that's all it is. It just needs that little scared part of you. It needs that little bit of angst. It needs that that part of you that, that, that wants and feeds off of it. You know, in the back of, or in God, he talks about uh, the false prophets and the people that, do, you know, they're making money and they pro they're, you know, they're bearing witness. And he says, I never sent these guys. They're not talking for me. But, uh, you know, they're making money off of these lies and they're enjoying it and they rule over it. You know, like all these people, you know, has got their being hooked and being led by them off lies and he says oh my people love to have it so you know that's that's what he says it's, it's for the drama so you know I was just talking to this guy and I said don't don't fall for that garbage you know he, he's talking about you know the seed of remembering and forgetting more you want to go down there and you want to forget what you're going to go on that scene you're going to remember something oh the whole idea is to take away a memory and put in something else I mean come on it's right off the bat it doesn't he the guy himself is is explaining it wrong if there's a chance that you are being having false memories you know you probably wouldn't even recognize it. You know, that's what it is. You know, we have uh, been replaced with with uh, new things. Uh, I can't open my Bible without seeing it, you know. And this thing says, turn away, turn away, and don't get caught up in these black cubes. It's bad for you. What do they give a fuck any for you? You know, whether, yeah, the last thing we can do is turn away from it. You know, once you're, oh, my God, we are hooked, you know. It... Maybe a trap of some kind, but you know, to to pretend that you can just like run away from it and back out of it, you know, and ooh, it'll go away. A little funny, a little strange, and the idea that it's bringing the supernatural into it, you know, well, something's causing it, but uh, you know, I don't, you know, I don't believe in the witchcraft part of it. You know, it's the lower conscious, you know, all that follows into, you know, man's ability to manipulate things. And uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that it has a tail and horns. It could have two eyes, two ears, and two feet, just like you and me. And pretty much able to pull this shit off, you know. Um, but anyways, you know, enjoy yourself. You know, God says, you know, everybody needs a good drama, you know. But, uh, you know, once you, you know, go, you need to go upstairs, see the Lord, pave the way, pave that highway into stone. And none of this stuff bothers you. And when you hear it, you can see right through it, you know. That's what it means by building a house on stone. So, uh, you know, it was just really funny. So go and investigate yourself, you know, this, uh... Because that's what he wants. He wants someone to come and see him. And uh, but it's somewhere on one of my ch on one of my things. I I pushed it through. Someone said it went. The the machine called it up as being. Uh, told me it was probably uh, you know whatever spam or something. But I let it come about. I don't care. And um, uh, yeah, and you know, and the the work on the on this on the monolith isn't all that great. You know, certainly. You know, if it was really smart and, you know, these were really peoples and stuff like that, they'd have better looking things in there. It would look really, really cool. Instead of, you know, like, you know, thrown together. And, you know, it looks like all the faces are made from a certain thing. You know, I would have had them, oh, I would have had them in their death grips and stuff like that. You know, I would have made it really spooky. You know, so anyways, just remember, you know, a lot of people are out there right now trying to make money off of, uh, off of your fears and you know the, this Mandela does bring about some fears for people if they've not going through it and I know some of you people don't go through it you know it doesn't affect you doesn't have anything to do with you and it's cool you know um, but for those of us who do it's a it's another test of the truth of whether or not you want to believe in yourself or believe in uh, you know what's going on right now we are in the now we have to believe in the now but we're talking about the way it was 
and uh, you know someone's out there trying always trying to make money off of us and it seems like a fear you know feeding shelter uh, our, our health everything you know comes under the guideline of fear in order to squeeze the money out of you and squeeze the attention come over and look at my shit check me out well I'm glad I'm self employed <laughs> alright well uh, best to y'all and uh, happy day alright careful of those pits out there love you